So today we're going to head over to James, all the way from the USA, who's going to show us an amazing prototype that allows you to visualize the pose of a human form in mixed reality over time. So over to you, James. Tell us more about what you've created. Hi, Jason. Uh, first of all, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, no problem. My name is James Sa, Sa Jung Hoon. Uh, originally from Korea, I'm now uh, living in Boston area. Mm -hmm. uh, the project that I've created with uh, TensorFlow.js that I'd like to show you is uh, something I've titled Atomodo, which is a, an Italian combination of words saying uh, a movement or action. Um, and uh, one of the things I've always been interested in is uh, a type of data visualization where multiple points of time and space are brought together into a uh, coherent whole in a single context and presented visually, whether on paper, photograph, on screen, or in my case, in uh, augmented reality, AR. So uh, some inspirations are uh, scientists slash artists like Harold Edgerton or Edward Mybridge, who've taken uh, photographs of uh, tennis rackets or uh, running horses, and yeah. presented them so that you can get a, a understanding in one image uh, how the motion is is happening. Through yeah, I've seen some of those in the old days. You can see them kind of like frame by frame, exactly. like yeah, upon each other. Using really electronic cool. flashes or multiple exposures. So um, fast forward to today or recent today, uh, when I saw that uh, PoseNet mm -hmm. uh, was made available, and you could very easily uh, with a bit of tinkering get. Uh, pose estimation and uh, positions of bot different body parts yeah. in images or video, uh, I thought that uh, given my current interest also in augmented reality, that I might be able to combine a few things together and come up with a visualization that takes uh, those inspirations I had and brings them into, into AR using uh, tensorflow.js. Awesome, that sounds super cool. Uh, I'm really excited to see this in action. Can you show me? This is the sketch that I've made. Um, what you're seeing is a very short looping video clip uh -huh. of a, uh, a martial artist doing his routine. And what I'm doing is using PoseNet to extract the, uh, the, the pose of the different body parts and extruding it in both time and space in augmented reality so that's that you get cool. <laughs> this 3D form slash visualization. I was going for something that felt uh, almost sculptural that you could walk around. Yeah. Um, and uh, of course, it's in AR, so you can, it, this is running on a mobile device. So you can yes. actually walk around and get different perspectives on the data as, as it's being uh, presented to you. And I, I assume you're using uh, WebXR to implement this or something else? That's right. The yeah. XR portion of it is uh, I'm actually using a very early uh, a library for uh, called p5.xr, which oh, is cool. a library for p5.js that allows you to build uh, AR and VR applications. So that's in early stages, but it is built on top of WebXR, the standard WebXR. Um, so this sketch, uh, right now it's not public yet, but when I do make it public, you'll be able to run it on um, Chrome on Android. You be able mm -hmm. to run it on uh, Mozilla's WebXR viewer on iOS. Nice. Uh, you, you won't need any native applications to to be able to see this. That's super cool. Uh, I I know that it's kind of an emerging technology for the web standards right now. So it's great that we can now do this on Android and and iOS via Mozilla. So um, hoping in the future it will just become you know bread and butter for all users to to use out the box, which would be great. Um, so. I guess uh, you said you're using PoseNet for this model. Is there any reason you chose that over, say, other things that might exist? Or um, did you find any kind of uh, limitations of that that you would like to see improved in the future? I'm just curious about your experience there. Or did it work pretty well for the uh, content that you had? Well, it was very easy. Uh, it was from simply uh, having an idea and looking at the documentation and figuring out which pieces to put together with PoseNet, uh, TensorFlow.js, um, yeah. and the P5.js code. Putting it all together was, was quite simple. Um, I think there's a lot of other things that I could do with it, taking it forward. Yeah. But 
uh, yeah, the the simplicity and the way things you could plug it all together uh, was was very um, attractive, very helpful. Okay, that's good to know. And I'm sure everyone watching right now is probably asking, shouting at the screens, like, how can we try this? Is there a way for them to try it right now? Is it live somewhere to try? Yes, it's publicly available. Uh, the exact link uh, they can find on my Twitter feed. My Twitter awesome. username is at lossless, L-O-S-S-L-E-S-S. -S -S. And there will be details there on what kind of browsers and platforms they will need, but it should work awesome. fine on both Android and iOS in the appropriate browsers. Great. Awesome. So yeah, go follow James on Twitter and we'll also put the link in the description of the YouTube video as well. So check out either one of those and have a play with that. So uh, James, I'm curious also to know a bit more about your background. I know this is a very creative project and um, I just want to know a bit more about your experience with machine learning and even maybe TensorFlow.js prior to this project. Are you new to this area? Do you have experience in machine learning, that kind of stuff? Um, I'm very new to the area. Um, my background is in a bunch of different things. I often say I'm a jack of several trades and king of nothing. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, with respect to machine learning, I looked at some face detection APIs. I played with Runway, which I'm sure you're aware of. Yes, that's I've cool. Class in uh, machine learning based uh, image generation. But uh, yeah, with with PoseNet TensorFlow, it's um, the 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 distance between getting an idea and being able to implement a quick sketch uh, is very short, and I appreciate that very much as a, as a beginner in this area. And I guess to wrap up here, like, do you have any future projects planned uh, that might build upon this idea or something new in mind? You see this evolving into later on. Yes, with this project, I want to uh, try uh, different forms of visualizations. I'm also very excited about the uh, hand pose, which came out a little later um, with MediaPipe and being able to uh, get hand pose estimation and putting that yeah. in AR so that you can manipulate or interact with objects in AR just with a, yes. a single yes. RGB camera. Um, that's something I'm excited about as well. Yeah, that'd be super cool. I, I'm very excited about that. In fact, we've got some other people today showing off some hand pose kind of stuff too. So maybe there could be some merging of technologies going on there. That's awesome. Um, well, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been great to hear about your projects and we look forward to seeing the final polished version for everyone to try in the future. Thanks for coming today. Thank you for having me.